maybe like right now will be the beginning of the video. And I'll just say, hi, my name is Laura. And today I'm making a cast iron Hershey's chocolate bar.
Okay, guys. Hi. I haven't said anything this whole time, but um, so the Hershey's, some of it did come out, but some of it is very faint. And that has to do with, you know, how deep it actually is and the fineness of the sand and also kind of like how the sand was when the mold was being rammed. Anyway, so this is obviously the top. And so I'm gonna drill a hole with this one inch spade bit, also called a paddle bit. You probably knew that though. I didn't want you to have to tell me in the comments though. So I'm gonna drill through with this. There's gonna be a hole and that's where the iron is gonna come into. And then with this little round bit, I'm going to continue to the channel and make three channels actually. So the iron will be able to go through the top and then through the three channels and then fill the cavity. And then I'm gonna drill three holes with the smallest spade bit that I own. Um, I could also use a drill bit if I wanted to. And those are where the iron is gonna come out. And um, I'm only gonna half drill one. I'm gonna do two on each side. Then when it's all done, it is gonna be on an angle. So the iron will go in and then fill up from the bottom. So let's um, get to work.
So the pour ended a couple hours ago and I'm gonna open my molds now secretly because everybody else is inside in the exhibition, which is awesome. But I have to leave because I'm going to another iron pour tomorrow in Carbondale, Illinois. And so I can't come back and get my molds. And so I'm gonna open them right now. <laughs> And uh, I have a wonderful assistant. My husband, Rob, is going to film for me opening them. Is it even recording? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to see. Oh, I should open it this way. Whoa. Oh, look at that. <gasps> wow. That came out so good. Well, we'll get better footage once we're home. Wow. That looks great. A plus. Let's go do the other one. Wow. Yeah, they came out great. They both came out. Nice. Thumbs up. Looks great. Well, time for reflections. You might be able to tell from my voice that I'm sick as a dog right now, but <laughs> I wanna finish this video and I'm gonna be wrapping up one of these for a gift. And so I gotta give the gift soon. And, and so it's, it's now or never, so here we go. Time for reflections of making these cast iron Hershey's chocolate bars. So I think that they came out surprisingly well, considering how shallow the lettering is in the actual chocolate bar. You know, it's not very deep. And so also working with the resin bonded sand, it doesn't pick up the finest details, 
because it's just granules of sand. But sometimes I'm amazed by what it does pick up. And so I'm kind of amazed at how well it picked up a lot of the details in this chocolate bar. But then again, you know, it is cast iron. So there's going to be certain allowances that I give it because there's lots of different factors that go into and I'm just an amateur production here, you know, so <laughs> be kind. But um, I think they came out really great. I'm really happy with how, you know, after the finishing, I'm really happy with how they looked. So I did two different things for the backs. For the one that I'm going to be giving away as a gift, I put felt on the back of it and I cleaned it with rubbing alcohol just to make sure that I had a nice surface before applying felt, but I just, you know, put it on the back and then used a box cutter to cut around the sides so that it was nice and neat. Because you know that if you try and cut a panel exactly the right size and then if you're already cut panel to the chocolate bar, it's not going to line up. You just know. It's, that's an experience thing. Maybe you need to go to art school to learn that. <laughs> but <laughs> seven years of art school, I can put a piece of felt on the back of a chocolate bar for sure. Anyways, yeah, I'm happy with them. And then the one that I'm keeping for myself, I just put these little um, rubber feet on. So it'll, you know, it, it shakes the table. It's so, it's so grabby. Because, yeah, this definitely would scratch your table. I definitely would like to have more detail in the lettering. And so I'm interested in making more of these. I'm going to try and create my own pattern instead of actually using a Hershey's chocolate bar, which I know is always like really intriguing because I'm making the mold off of the actual object. But I would like to get some either CNC milled plastic or like a resin printed chocolate bar. And instead of saying Hershey's, maybe it'll just say chocolate or candy or something like that because I don't want to sell something that has another brand's property on it, which is the Hershey's name. I am interested in making cast iron chocolate bar trivets for sale. So if you're interested, keep an eye out in you know, the future because I'm going to be doing more product development. And I'm also going to be, you know, trying to let me know what you think about would you rather have the felt on the back or would you rather have the ability to see the casting on the back and have the little rubber foot pads. But, um, yeah. Do you want one? <laughs> I, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way they came out and I'm looking forward to making more cast iron food in the future. So stay tuned. But thanks so much for tuning in and for interacting with my content and watching. It really gives me so much joy to be able to bring you entertainment and maybe a little bit of education about my side of the artistic world. So and thank you to my wonderful Ironclad crew members over on Patreon. So for everybody over there that supports me monthly, they help me get to my iron pours because, you know, a lot of times I have to travel to go to these things. And they also help me afford the cost of the materials that I use in making my artwork. And then I get to show it to you. So I think we all owe them a big thanks. And if you're interested in supporting me in my iron casting travels and in my iron casting art making, you can go over to patreon.com slash castirongypsy and all the information that you need to know to sign up and help support me is over there. And in return for their support, my Patreon members get, you know, a monthly check-in where I explain everything that's happening every single month of every single year of my life <laughs> if, they're, if they're interested. But also they get um, the voiceover versions of all the videos. And so if you we're watching this video and you're like, wait, I wish that she was explaining what she's doing because I don't understand what type of sand she's using or like what the mold making process is or what's the thought behind it. You know, that's all available in the voiceover versions on Patreon. And so I definitely really enjoy making that available to you as well if you're interested. And uh, it's just as little as a dollar a month 
And believe me, for your $12 a year to support me, you know, it really does go a long way. So thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye. Mwah! Okay guys, I got this candy bar yesterday because I want it to look like I'm, like I just pulled a, um, a candy bar out of this mold. Oh. <laughs> you could have sworn that it was gonna fit. I will tell you that for the ones that I molded, I went with the like cheaper, but this is the dark chocolate. Cause if I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna treat myself and um, I'm worth it. So let's see if I can make this look convincing. <laughs> I'm also excited to eat it. Like I don't think I have to put the whole, is it obvious because it's like a different color. So I got the dark, cause I was worth it, remember? Anyways, I'm just gonna eat it. I bet nobody will notice. Do you ever have, do you have a friend that's a slider? They like, you'll be like, no, never mind. I won't even talk about it. But you know, you're like, they like slide things across the table. Why do you do that? It just drives me nuts. Anyways. Uh... I sure I got the milk chocolate. You look at me a different color. Anyway, you need to come closer. It's really good though. No. Nope. All right, that's fine. Do you think it's convincing? Do you think I fooled them? If I take the chocolate out of here and just eat it? We'll see. I don't want to stop eating this chocolate. This is a bad idea. I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to hide it where the camera can't see. I'm going to take it from out there, so. And today on the show, I'm making a cast iron waffle. <laughs> what am I making? This one is a chocolate bar. Like I shouldn't be eating right now. So naughty, woo!